Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you a little safety for your cell phones. What I want to do is share how to block EMF radiation from the phone. Electromagnetic radiation is uh, similar to your microwave. The microwave uh, typically has about a thousand watts of energy. The cell phone has the same radiation but very low wattage. I spent a lot of my career in the service repairing radars. Radar basically is the same frequency as uh, microwaves and there is precautions that should be taken. Uh, microwaves have shielding, the glass door has a uh, metal shielding that will block or trap the, the microwave inside the oven. With a radar you don't want to be in line of the pulses that it's producing. Uh, microwaves can be known, or at least in my studies or training, been known to cause cataracts in the eyes. Also, uh, it can cause sterilization. Uh, with the uh, phones, there's concern that you're putting these to your head and uh, it's radiating into your, into your brain or into your body. Uh, there's concern with possible cancer. Um, I don't know that, but precaution, uh, simple precaution especially, that can prevent that radiation from entering your body uh, isn't a bad thing. Some simple things that you can do, and the one is creating a Faraday shield, a shield that will block radiation. Now, if you encapsulate your phone in a Faraday shield, it will not receive or transmit a signal. It will uh, block it. So we need to create a shield for your body uh, more so than um, trapping all the radiation. So if the phone's going to be effective, it does have to communicate with the towers. When the phone is not being used, it's still connecting, sending signals, and it's trying to locate towers. And it sends out these pulses, electromagnetic radiation pulses, about 900 a second to locate the tower. We need to uh, block those. And a very simple way, um, almost everybody when they buy a phone, they're very expensive, and they buy a case to protect it against dropping. Right there is the case for my phone. And uh, if you have a case like this, this can be very useful in helping to create a Faraday shield. Uh, what we're going to do is shield one side of the phone. One side has to be open to be able to receive signals. So a simple way to create a Faraday shield is I'm taking some aluminum foil and I'm going to line this shield or line this case with the foil. So Okay, if you have a transparent case, you want to see the back of the phone, uh, what you're going to do then is see the foil. And uh, you don't want to wrinkle the foil too much. The bottom of the phone has your charge port, uh, your speaker, and uh, I think that's a headphone plug. So we're going to keep that open so we put the, the uh, foil near the bottom so that will be open. Then we snap the phone back in to this case. Like that. Okay, you can see the underside, it's still exposed. Now, uh, the logo is gone, it's covered. Also, our light and our camera is covered. 
So I'm just going to trim this foil away from those and peel that away. Then we trim this. Okay, can't even tell that it's in there. Now, this creates a shield to the back side. The front side is still able to radiate. Now, if you put this phone to your head, usually it's this side. So, a precaution or a method to use your phone, if you're putting it to your head, would be put the back side to your head. This now blocks the radiation that would be radiating into your head. I place the foil inside the case of the phone so the back of the phone is now shielded from transmitting or emitting uh, any radiation. The radiation uh, when it's emitted if it's omnidirectional, that meaning that uh, uh, it spreads in every direction. Unidirectional would be like uh, transmitting a pulse out of a radar. Transmitted pulse in a beam will stay concentrated, but if it's omnidirectional where it goes every direction, the power of the beam or the radiation decreases by the square, meaning that as you double the distance the power decreases by uh, the square. Because it diminishes with the distance by the square, if you're using your phone, rather than put it to your head or to your ear, uh, put it on speaker phone. And that will give quite a bit of difference in the amount of radiation that's hitting you. When you carry the phone, don't have the face of the phone facing you. Carry it with the Faraday shield to your body, the back of the phone to your body. And this will block radiation from entering your body. And it still will allow the phone to connect to the tower through the face of the phone. If you're talking on the phone, probably the best thing to do, and I do this all the time, is use an on speaker phone. If you need a private conversation, then just now use the phone with the back to your face. In addition to putting the shield on your phone, <clears throat> I carry my phone on my belt and uh, when you put it into the case, the back of the phone should be to your body on the belt side. In addition to that, what I'm going to do is create a Faraday shield in the case of my phone. So I am going to place foil on the belt side of the case and that will block radiation from going into my body. I'm going to attach this to the foil and this will keep the uh, foil from tearing and then this, this will be glued inside the case. I'm cutting it oversized and I just need it on the back side. So once I have that cut I'm going to attach it with some contact cement. The underside of the case has a hole to push the phone up, so I need to keep that clear. 
So this is going to fit now inside. So now we cut it to fit. It's inside. Now I'm keeping this longer. I'm extending this beyond the foil so that inserting the phone in and out won't snag the foil and tear it. This material should help uh, keep that from happening. Now I'm only putting the contact cement on one side and for this one of the main reasons is I have to slide it inside the case if I put it on both sides and sliding it in I made contact it would want to stick in the wrong position so this should allow me to move it in there and secure it in the location I want it all the way down that's secured okay this case now has its Faraday shield on the body side of the case so when the phone's in there, it will not radiate through that foil. Now if you carry the, the phone with the face side toward the body, okay, now you have a Faraday shield on both sides. The phone may not have very good reception uh, because most of the radiation will be blocked. So carrying the phone in the case, put the Faraday shield towards the body, towards the belt side. Now you have both shields facing your body. Okay, I just shared with you how to protect yourself from EMF from your phone. And two methods, both very inexpensive. They do make a defender type uh, case and uh, storage case but sometimes you have to look to see if it says uh, protects against EMF or a Faraday shield. Um, a lot of the Defender safe cases are mainly to protect the phone from mechanical abuse dropping uh, and not protecting against EMF. This is one of the simplest ways to protect yourself. There is a lot of uh, information online about uh, radiation from cell phones. This is a real simple uh, task to do, very quick, and it's very effective. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.